Welcome back everyone, and today I'll be showing you how to build a rotary evaporator for sort of cheap, I guess, around like, I don't know, $40, $60, around that ballpark. But yeah, so you need condenser, you need uh, two stirrer bearings, I'll include uh, the thing in the description, of course, all the parts. Um, you also need a straight adapter thing, that weird adapter you see over there uh, that's between the condenser. Uh, I don't know what it's called. You don't need that exact one. You can get something else that's roughly the same. And a motor, which I'll also include in the description, but you'll have to modify it. So originally I was going to use glass tubing for the connector between the vacuum seals, but um, that's sort of unnecessary. So uh, yeah, even though I went through the whole shenanigans of glass blowing, it, um, in, in the end I'm not going to use the glass, so yeah, don't bother with that. Uh, you do need 7mm um, or 8mm outer diameter Teflon tubing, though, to fit in the stirrer bearings. So here's my first prototype, um, AF3 printed parts, of course. And, um, yeah, this first design was horrible because the motor's right next to the flask, which is, you know, in the water bath. So, yeah, I had to redesign it. Oh, and before you people complain that, oh, the servo's like, the servo motor has a brush motor inside, it's going to ignite the solvent fumes. No, the motor is a hermetically sealed one. It has a rubber gasket in it, and it's also um, designed to be, like, submerged under water even. So, yeah, no vapors are getting into that. So you can see here it works. It's just badly designed. So, I made another version, and by another version I mean I made two more other versions, and even then, uh, the final design is sort of trash, but I just don't want to bother making any more new ones because it's using so much of my filament. Oh, and I printed it at around 20% so, um, film. I tried to print this thing twice, and the other gear always came out wrong. I wonder why. I sure do wonder why. So, yeah, um, that's a lot of filament wasted. But anyways, so here's the actual design assembled. So, you have a button, you have the motor, the motor's powered off a 5-volt power supply. Uh, you have this coupler here, again, I was using glass, but in the end I used Teflon because it's flexible. And, um, while there is a few other videos that use Teflon stirrer bearings to do the vacuum, uh, seal, uh, they actually had to modify it, which I found it's unnecessary to be modifying it in the first place. It works just fine. But anyways, I made a little stand out of extruded aluminum. And, um, yeah. So I'm not actually gonna include, like, how to mount this thing. Like, I'm not gonna show you, because you can do that yourself. I, I like, use your own brain. But, uh, you can mount it to, like, a wood board, mount it to a lab stand, mount it to extruded aluminum like I did. I don't care. Do whatever you want with it. But, like I said, this design is sort of poorly designed. I encourage you to go and make your own, just using this as sort of an idea. So, the PLA got too hot, and it slipped off the glass, so I ended up putting some strip glue on it, and there you go, there's a Rotovap. So, we'll be using this in a future video. Not a future video, many future videos. Oh, and also designed this little clamp thing to hold the glass onto the extruded aluminum. I'll also include that in the description. But you can see here, it's really not the best design, but it works, so might as well. And, uh, there you go, that's how you make a really cheap Rotovap. And um, I'm also going to set up a glycol chiller so I can reach sub-zero temperatures for the condenser cooling because I want really good efficiency on this thing. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. And um, yeah, I'm still working on the lab infinity grid thing. I don't know, wh whatever it's called. But um, yeah, uh, I can't put a clamp on it because it's not strong enough. So unfortunately, I guess it's only used to hold flasks and bottles for now. But uh, I'll probably release that sometime uh, soon. But um... Yeah, I, that, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys found it useful or whatever, and um, see you guys next. See you guys next time.